Good morning, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Rich again, back for your first video blog of the day for Saturday, December 6, 2014, around 7.59 in the morning in Bellica, Massachusetts. It's a cloudy day out today, on and off rain showers, highs about 50 or so. It actually sleeted a little bit last night, but no major accumulation in the Merrimack Valley area of Massachusetts. Yeah, they go up north into New Hampshire and Vermont to get a couple of inches of snow and this week's weather pattern is going to be the same with one day warm next day cool the other day warm cool and stuff it seems like all the warm days that we're having is accompanied by rain and stuff it happens around this time of year so you have to deal with it. it's better than 20 inches of snow some news to report the Boston Celtics beat uh, Los Angeles Lakers by the score of 113 to 96. This is two game winning streak by the Boston Celtics. The Celtics Lakers rivalry has been kind of slowed in recent years because both teams are, are, are mediocre or very poor. And also, the Philadelphia 76ers are back in their losing ways. They lost last night to the Oklahoma City Thunder, so they're 1-17. I would not be shocked if the 76ers win, don't win more than 10 games this year. They're very poor. They're very bad. But there's that no guarantee for them to get the number one pick in the NBA draft lottery. And 50 years ago today was the first airing of the classic television Children's special on Christmas Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer on NBC. And that's about it on that. My first video subject of the day is about the continuation series of the top 10 everything and everything. Now I have, have the top 10 best candy bars of all time. I admit I have a sweet tooth. We all do. I love eating candy bars. Not all the time, but on occasions. Because if you eat them all the time, you're going to get a lot of sugar in your body and stuff like that you'll be jumpy and stuff i limit to have a candy bar maybe once or twice a week now and here are the top 10 best candy bars ever number 10 on the old time list is skittles skittles makes you happy and stuff it's a fruity candy i like fruity candy it's very good i used to have them a lot back in the day that comes in at number 10 number 10, 9 on the old time list of the best candy bars of all time snickers it's milk chocolate with peanuts i'm not big on eating peanuts so i don't eat snickers that much but it's one of the most popular um candy bars out there in the united states and everybody loves to have a snickers once in a while it comes in at number nine number eight on the old time list of greatest candy bars ever is twix i love twix because it's the cookie candy bar and stuff like that and i like their logo their like slogan twix Two for me, none for you. Very, very good marketing stuff for that. It comes in at number eight. Number seven on the all-time list is Sky Bar. Sky Bar is a great candy bar. They actually make Sky Bars in Massachusetts. That's one of the few candy bars left that is made in the, in the Bay State. I've had it once in a while. It's a pretty good candy bar. And it comes in at number seven. Number six on this list is the Milky Way Bar. I love eating Milky Way bars, the, the, the chocolate, the dark chocolate, eating it once in a while. There's so many brands of Milky Way, dark chocolate, white chocolate, less sugar. Milky Way bars, they're pretty good to eat. It comes in at number six. Number five on this list is the Kit Kat bar. Give me a break, give me a break, give me a break for that Kit Kat bar. Very good, it's crispy to eat. And, you know, it's, it's good. I like to have Kit Kat bars one in, once in a while. That comes in at, at number five. Number four on the all-time list of greatest candy bars ever, Hershey bars. This is some of the most famous candy bar ever. Everybody loves eating Hershey bars. So people have them in so many different, different um, flavors, like the regular Hershey bar or white chocolate Hershey bar or ch a Hershey bar with chocolates and almonds, chocolates and nuts, whatever. It's a great, great, great um, candy bar to eat. Number three on the list is Nestle Crunch. 
it's good to have an actually lunch bar the crisp place with like chocolate and rice and stuff a lot of ma famous people had a Nestle Hearst Crunch bars and especially it was endorsed in the 80s by Larry Bird Basketball Hall of Fame I've ha had a lot of them when Bird was endorsing them it's a pretty good candy bar number two on this list of the greatest candy bars of all time M&M's M&M's is, is very good it's one of the most famous candy bars it's little round shaped candy bars you could eat and they always say M&M's make friends this shapes and of it with like regular and with peanuts. I don't have the peanut m and bars because I'm not big on peanuts. And that's number two. But the number one candy bar of all time I like, the best candy bar, is the Three Musketeers bar. Love having them. It's my favorite candy bar and I love, love to have them once in a while. Kind of like sneak one in once in a while. And it's the best candy bar out there. And this is an impressive list. Some, some, some other candy bars that I did not mention that did not make this list is the Tootsie Roll Bar and Twizzlers. But this is an amazing list. Something had to be left out in my opinion. I don't, don't like to leave things out, but those things happen. And that's about it on that. I'll be back later. Facebook friends and YouTube follow for two more video blogs. First, the ones will be about ways to improve downtown Lowell in, Ma in Lowell, Massachusetts, Lowell's the fourth largest city in Massachusetts. I'm going to have some ideas what, what they could to, to improve downtown Lowell. And the third and final video blog of the night is about the personality profile, which will be about former NBA Hall of Fame, a pro basketball Hall of Fame, Carl Malone, the mailman. And don't forget Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is, this is my sixth month doing these video blogs. Six months ago today, I started this journey. It's been very good. And they're going to continue to get more great stuff with new stories, whatever. See you later. Bye now.